Hi, my name is Jennifer Cody Epstein, the author of Wonderland, and this is what I'm reading. The first book that I'm recommending is The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. I loved this book because it does for me what the most amazing books really can do. It uses a kind of brutally lyrical language and fantastical plot structures and elements to lay bare a story that is truly disturbing and upsetting. It's about uh, slavery in America in the 1800s. And it seems almost magical to me that somebody can use such beautiful elements and amazing historical detail to really kind of just get to the heart of something that's profoundly difficult to process. Uh, I think he does that in an absolutely beautiful way and it's a book that has stayed with me um, very deeply since I read it and uh, I'd say I'd put it up there with one of the top, top five books that I've read in the last decade for sure. The next book that I'm recommending is Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Uh, I love pretty much everything by Sarah Waters. This book in particular just really ensnared me. It's a Victorian sort of crime story and it's filled with subversive elements and uh, sexy details and amazing period uh, details as well. It's also just constructed around these incredible reveals and plot twists that you never see coming and for me every time I picked it up I felt like my mind was just kind of blown anew. So it's uh, definitely one of my favorite reads of the, of the recent past. My final book recommendation is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. Um, I came late to Ferrante's work and I'm so glad that I finally did come to it. This is the first book in the Neapolitan series and like my novel, Wonderland, it actually focuses on an intense friendship between two young girls. And what I love about her writing is the way that she is able to find the universal in something that seems, at least from the outset, very daily and ordinary. Um, you look at this friendship and she's able to pull out all of the drama and the violence and the romance and the mystery of pretty much life in general. And you pick it up and, at least for me, I have a very, very hard time putting it down. It's just an immediately immersive experience. and. I can't wait to finish it and to read the next three.